Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Grazley, and this is Grazley Games. We're continuing our MTG Noob series with the evergreen keyword Defender. This is a series in which we talk about all the basics of Magic the Gathering so that when you're playing, you'll know what everything does. Here's Murmuring Phantasm. It has Defender, it's a 0 5, and all that means is that it can't attack. A Defender can block, but can't attack. Let's look at some other examples. Here's Ogre Jailbreaker. It's a Defender, it's a 4 4, so pretty powerful. But Ogre Jailbreaker can attack, as though it didn't have Defender, as long as you control a gate, which is a type of land card. So it has Defender, it's a blocker, but you can turn it into an attacker uh, under certain conditions. Here's Perimeter Captain. It's a Defender, it's a 0-4. Whenever a creature you control with Defender blocks, you may gain 2 life. Defender is kind of a downside, but if you have Perimeter Captain, you can turn it to your advantage. And here's Wall of Fire, 1 red red for a 0-5. It has Defender, and it has an activated ability. Pay one red, Wall of Fire gains plus one, plus zero, until end of turn. So it's a pretty great blocker just in general. Zero, five can take a lot of, uh, can, can absorb a lot of damage. And if you pay that extra one red mana, you can give it uh, a little bit of damage on its own when it's defending. And you can activate this multiple times. So if you have, let's say, six red mana available, you can pour it all into Wall of Fire and turn it into a six, five. And here's Steel Wall. This is an artifact. It's a 0-4 with Defender. Nothing special. Only costs one generic mana, though. So this can go into a lot of decks as a basic Defender to keep you alive. And it's a super cheap artifact, so there are lots of reasons that you might want to have some of those around. Now, Warmonger's Chariot is another uh, artifact. It's an equipment card. Uh, it costs two to put it on the battlefield, and it's equipment. So you can pay three to equip it, which attaches it to a target creature. Uh, as a sorcery, which means on one of your main phases. Uh, and as long as the equipped creature has Defender, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Now, it doesn't lose Defender, but it gains the ability to attack. Here's an example of another Defender, Nivik Cyclops, one blue red. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Nivik Cyclops gets plus three plus zero until end of turn and can attack this turn as though it didn't have Defender. So on your turn, for example, you might cast Electricery, which deals one damage to a target creature that you don't control, or you can overload it and do damage to a bunch of creatures. As soon as you cast that, that instant card, Nivik Cyclops' second ability there activates, and it gets plus three plus zero until end of turn, turning it into a four four. And maybe you might also cast Shock to do two more damage to another target creature, or just a player. Well, that'll activate Nivik Cyclops again. It adds another three, which makes it a seven four. Here's some other cheap spells you might consider in blue and red. Here's Unsummon, return target creature to its owner's hand. That'll maybe get a blocker out of the way, which allows Nivik Cyclops to get through as it grows. And Vault Skyward is another uh, instant card, only costs one. Target creature gains flying until end of turn, and untap it. So cast that, target Nivik Cyclops, and that allows it to evade some of the ground creatures and get through for damage in the air. So those are the some of the defenders I thought you might like to see. I hope you're enjoying the series. Please comment down below if you are and ask any questions about the rules regarding defender in Magic the Gathering. Look forward to chatting with you on uh, Twitter and on Facebook and through the Patreon. And of course, I would always appreciate it if you can like and subscribe. Thanks very much. GG. And I'll talk to you soon.